So today we will be solving one more lead code question that is race car. This is a problem which has been asked by multiple organizations like Google, Amazon, Microsoft and today we will be solving this particular question. So this question says that your car starts at position 0 and speed plus 1 on an infinite line. Your car can go either in positive direction or in negative direction. Your car drives automatically according to the sequence of instructions which is A and R where A refers to accelerate and R refers to reverse and there are some rules related to these two instructions. So when we accelerate our position is going to be increased by speed and our speed is going to be doubled. And the second rule is when we reverse when we take reverse then at that point of time our speed is going to be minus 1 if it's positive or else it will become equivalent to 1 and position will stay same. So what we have to find out. So given a target position return the length of the shortest sequence of instructions to get there. Okay. So first thing first we can see that we are given position 0 and a target and we have to reach from 0 to that target using a sequence of instruction shortest sequence of instruction so this sounds familiar to me like the first thing that comes up to my mind is Dijkstra's algorithm so this particular algorithm is basically for finding shortest path and in this particular question we can make use of it we can make use of the concept so let's try to understand how we can solve this particular question we will take this target equivalent to 6 example and try to visualize the whole problem so this is our number line and our target is equivalent to 6 and let's see how we can traverse this whole thing we can keep a check of our moves that we will be taking our position and our speed as it is already given our question that our moves uh, we have to return our moves and our position is going to be 0 when we are starting and our speed will be plus 1 that is 1 so fine so at position 0 this is our status now we will be moving forward so our position will be increased by speed so that is position plus 1 so we will reach position 1 and our move will also be increased by 1 and our speed will be multiplied by 2 now from here when we are going to uh, accelerate again because our position is right now not equivalent to our target so we need to accelerate so again our position is going to be increased by speed that is plus 2 so we will reach 3 our move will become 2 our position will become 3 and our speed will be multiplied by 2 so it will become 4 again we will accelerate because we hadn't reached our target position so we will be accelerating again and increasing our position by speed adding speed so this will become 7. I am in hurry to reach a target. <laughs> so we will be reaching here 7. So position will become 7 and our move moves will be increased by 1 and our speed will be multiplied by 2 so it will become 8. So now we can see our position is greater than the given target. So now we can see we have to reverse so at this particular step we will take a reverse so when we are reversing our speed will become minus 1 our position is as it is and our moves will become 4 why our position is as it is because it's set in <laughs> it's already given in our question and our speed will become minus 1 because it's given to us that if our speed is positive then we have to make it minus 1 or else we have to make it 1 so this is the current status and after this we know that we have to move in this particular direction to reach our target value that is 6 so we will be increasing so our moves will become 5 our position will be 
increase by speed that is minus 1 so it will become 6 and our speed will be multiplied by 2 so it will become minus 2. So now we have reached our target as a position is equivalent to target that means we reached our target value. So now we understand that our moves is equivalent to 5 and we will return it as an answer. So this is how the whole problem works the whole solution works and we had already visualized like how the acceleration and reverse is taking place so what will be the time complexity of this particular solution basically it will be log n because every time when we are accelerating we are increasing our speed by 2 so if suppose there are binary tree and it is increasing in this way so we don't have to traverse all the nodes or all the paths we have to only be concerned about the one with which we have to achieve our target so therefore the time complexity will be equivalent to log n where n is equivalent to t and our time com our, and our space complexity will also be equivalent to log n as we are traversing through this whole path so that might be a case where we will again get the same values so in that case we will be keeping a visited set so for that uh, space will be occupied and the space complexity will be equivalent to log n. there is one more case that i would like to discuss right away like we know when we are taking reverse step or reverse instruction when the position is greater than the target but there can be a possibility when position plus speed is greater than target and speed is in negative right so suppose if our target is here and we will accelerate in this direction way like in this direction too far then also we are getting away from our target so we don't want this condition as well we want to move in the direction of the target closer to the target so that's why we are going to apply reverse not only in the condition where a position is in this direction but also away in this direction it's becoming slightly messy but i hope it's understandable for you all so now let's just code and see what's the solution so firstly we will be creating a queue and we will be storing our moves position and speed as we saw in the diagram so moves position and speed in the startings are equivalent to moves is 0 position is 0 and speed is 1 so that's the one thing and this will be a tuple I am definitely messing with this question okay so this is our queue then there will be a visited set so this is our set and after that we will be running a while loop for our queue and then we will be popping our DQ and we will be checking all the possible cases from this particular firstly we will check uh, from these values we will check like our position is equivalent to target if it's true if our position is equivalent to target then we will return our moves right if not then we will check if position or speed position and speed is in visit like we have previously visited this particular case then we won't be proceeding we will continue else what we will do firstly we will add it up in our visited set and it will be something like this position and speed or else we will do q dot 
not or else we will be appending this particular moves plus one as we have already visited this position so we will be increasing our moves then position will be also increased by speed and we know that speed is going to be multiplied by two so this is the thing that we had done uh, like we have to do this means we accelerated and we already visited this particular position now the main condition comes in like we have to reverse or not so as we already discussed the reversal is possible in two cases that is firstly if the position plus speed is greater than target and our speed is also positive or else we have to check this case like position plus speed is less than target speed is less than zero then what we have to do we have to make our speed equal to minus one if speed is greater than zero else we have to make it one and then we have to append it in the queue and it will be something like this moves will be again increased position will be as it is and speed okay so this is the whole solution and at last we will end add return statement and now let's check whether this solution is working okay it's working mm -hmm. okay fine i've solved this question previously but yeah this is the whole solution and i hope it helped you you find this whole video useful and if yes then please like and subscribe my channel and i will see you soon with the next one thanks for watching